Hey guys, it's Kaveta. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to vlog 2 in Lisbon, Portugal. Today we will be going over some more things that we did. We did spend a couple days just chilling in the house, relaxing, trying to re recoup, you know, get ready for the next day. But today we are going to check out some more spots that are must see and things that are must do, food that I must eat and just enjoy our time here in Portugal. Today we visit Geronimo's Monastery. This is one of the most impressive symbols of Portugal's power and wealth during the Age of Discovery. This was built by King Manuel in 1502 and was populated by monks of the Order of St. Jerome. Wow, oh my god. Whoa. Their job was to give guidance to the sailors and pray for the king's soul. This monastery is one of the greatest triumphs of European Gothic, with much of the design characterized by elaborate sculptures, details, and maritime motifs. This style of architecture became known as Manueline, a style that served to glorify the great discoveries of the age. It is so beautiful. We had such a blast just walking around, looking, taking in everything. Definitely should be on your list if you're in Lisbon and want to check this out. Once again, museums are always high on our list, so we decided to visit the National Museum of Archaeology, another must-do, must-see in the Lisbon area. The National Museum of Archaeology is the largest archaeological museum in Portugal and one of the most important museums devoted to the ancient art found in the Iberian Peninsula. No videos allowed. So go ahead and enjoy the beautiful pictures of this amazing museum. One of my favorite parts about Europe, there's a park literally everywhere. You can always find somewhere to sit, hang out, eat, chill, relax, people watch. It's amazing. Once you're in this area, be sure to head over to the Belém Tower. It is about a 10 minute walk from the monastery, so it's definitely a must add to that day trip. The Tower of Belém is one of the most remarkable monuments in Lisbon and Portugal. A landmark of Portuguese identity and a symbol of a country facing the sea and its discoveries. The Tower of Belém is a testimony of the transitional nature of military architecture, having features of the defense of the Middle Ages and also of modern Renaissance. Sadly, the tower was closed when we went to visit, so we could not tour or go inside. But that just the grounds and being there was amazing. We got to see it, we got to walk around, we got to take in what it was from the outside and learn about its history. The next day, we decided to head out again and explore more of this beautiful city. 
we are always eating you know we love our food and Jarrell has been obsessed with kebab since we're really Madrid he's been obsessed with it since Madrid so we've been trying to find those places everywhere and thankfully they're literally everywhere <laughs> so that's all he's been eating we decided to head back over to the square and as you can see I am having a ball it is one of our favorite places to go So today we are walking in the center again and discovering even more like you need a couple days walking here checking stuff out and all that it is so beautiful tons of tourists you know of course it's less because of corona i'm sure but so much to do we even found a mall <laughs> we did not know there was a mall right here so it is awesome it's definitely a must do if you're in lisbon That is it for now you guys thank you for coming along and checking out lisbon portugal with us next video coming up will be where we stayed in portugal and how we got to paris from lisbon be sure to give us a like hit that notification bell subscribe so you are kept up to date on our adventures see you in the next video bye